Hey guys, it's Jenna and Harvey, and in today's video, we are going to be going over my most recent Sephora haul. I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got recently, and of course, Harvey is here to say a quick hello as well. A little bit tired behind the lights, but he also just went for a W, so that's why. <laughs> We're gonna be reviewing all of these products very, very soon in upcoming videos, so let's chat about what I picked up. Let's get into the very first product that I picked up, which I actually did a review on on my very last video that I just posted. This is from RMS Beauty. This is their Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I did actually share a 12 hour wear test on that video and I talked about some of the mishaps I had with this foundation. I also had a pretty active like healing sunburn that was on my face at the time. So I've been able to do a lot more testing with this. And like I suspected in my video, this does require some hydration, a lot of base prep to make this look its best. This is a refillable packaging foundation. You can see it clicks up like this to access the foundation. The spout is very small and tends to push the product downward. So I find that sometimes it can get on the packaging itself and get a little bit messy. When it comes to how it wears on the skin, I would call it just an okay product. I do think you can make it work if you have normal, especially oily skin, prep your skin nice before this one and it won't gather as bad, but if you have dry skin, you could probably stay away from this one. My little update on this one is once I was able to really hide hydrate my skin a little bit better. I did find that I did a lot better with the result overall. It gathered a little bit less in my lines, emphasized texture a little bit less, but it is still an okay product. Not super pumped about it, but I also don't hate it. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things, right? Speaking of the RMS Beauty brand, this is a product I've heard really great things about. So I was really excited to get this one. This is the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydra Powder Blush. So this is the blushes that I've heard such good things about. I really wanted to try it despite kind of my <laughs> mishaps with this foundation because it's still on my wish list and a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about them. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just says RMS right there with RMS Beauty underneath. It is a refillable packaging as well apparently. And when you actually open it up, you do have this really gorgeous blush inside. Like that is stunning. Has a little bit of a beautiful glisten to it. If you can see how I'm moving it with my hand here. This is the shade French Rose, super pretty. Let's see how this one swatches because it looks like it's gonna be beautiful. And this is super pigmented as well. So, it's actually really beautiful. Love the pigment already. Love that it kind of has a little bit of that really cool pastel -y look. So I'm excited to see how this one is also going to wear when I test it. Let me know if you guys have tried this one and if you have tested it, your thoughts on it. <laughs> this was a little bit hard to get in Canada for a while there, but I think they finally have stocked it. So I'm excited to test this one really, really soon. Next, I picked up this foundation not that long ago, which is from Lancome. This is the Taunt E. Dole Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation, and the shade I picked up is 305N. This is one that is actually not available at Sephora Canada yet. I'm not really sure why. I feel like it should be any second, and hopefully it is when I post this video, that it's going to be available, but I did get this one from Sephora US in order to test it. I have been testing it. I really, really love this one. So I'm gonna do a full dedicated review very, very soon. But this is one that has a really nice glow to the skin. It's a medium coverage, definitely buildable. You could absolutely build it to a full in certain spots. And I like this one, but I give it like a nine out of 10 because the fragrance is super potent in this one. It really, really smells perfumey, very, very floral. And I do think if you are not a fan of that, it's gonna be a deal breaker for you, especially because you can absolutely smell it as you apply it to the skin. It's gonna waft off of your sponge or off of your brush. Luckily, as it settles, it doesn't have a fragrant component later on, like you don't smell it off your face all day, but that is something that I don't think a lot of people are looking for anymore in products <laughs> is heavy fragrance. This one also has a sunscreen in it, which can also be a deterrent for some people. They'd rather put their sunscreen underneath than have a built-in sunscreen. This is an SPF 27, so it's broad spectrum. I think the sunscreen might be a chemical sunscreen. It's certainly not a physical one. So I will give you guys my full update on this, but I will tell you a little sneak peek because I do have this foundation and I have this one in my haul from Hourglass, which I also reviewed, which is the Ambient 
soft glow foundation and then I also review this one like I just mentioned the RMS Beauty so I'll quickly rank them for you a little like teaser because I'm getting questions like which one is your favorite so in third place is this one <laughs> we already know <laughs> and then it comes down to these two this one has a little bit more glow so I love this one a bit more but the fragrance pulls it down this is one that is also super beautiful but leans slightly matte on a set it is a little bit of a warmer line overall, I would say, so a bit harder to find your shade, but this one also is a little bit tough to find your shade, so kind of like, ooh, which one do I like a little bit better? I'm gonna say Lancome right now. The fragrance is a big problem with this one. This is one that doesn't have fragrance and it is super pretty as well, but I do tend to go for a bit of a glow compared to a semi-matte finish. Both of them claim to be natural finish with like this one having a bit more glow, of course, but I do find that the Hourglass one being a natural finish leans a little bit more matte when it's set. So that's what I'm gonna say, but it like narrowly wins out against the Hourglass product. If you guys haven't checked out my video on the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, I will also link it because I did a full wear test with that one. And this is a shade I was able to make work, which I'm really happy about but both products seem to give me a little bit of shade, you know, confusion there. So it could just speak to the fact that you're ordering online and it's a little bit tougher to get your shade when you don't actually see it in front of you. Okay, this is a product I was really excited about from Necessaire, it's their newest one. And this is also from Sephora US, unfortunately, they're not selling in Canada yet. This is their sunscreen. So if you guys are familiar, if you are Canadian, sometimes sunscreens take a while to pass our testing our protocols our regulations we don't get sunscreen as quick as the u.s sometimes they'll put something within their own country first and to get it to canada it has to be approved through a whole bunch of other things so right now it's only in the u.s unfortunately but it's a very beautiful bright yellow <laughs> i love this brand because they carry amazing products for body care so the body wash and eucalyptus it is amazing. I love eucalyptus as well. It's very calming for me. And they also have a body lotion that doesn't leave your skin streaky. I'm gonna link all of that, of course, in the description box if you wanna check it out. They also have a body serum, which is a lighter lotion that also hydrates the skin if you're not even a body lotion person. So I really love this brand. I have found amazing products through this line. And this is a mineral sunscreen with an SPF 30. I had to get my hands on it. And because I live so close to the border, it was easy to do. <laughs> So that's good. It's fragrance free. The sunscreen in here is zinc oxide, which is a physical sunscreen for those wondering. And see how this one, okay. So it's a bright white, actually poured way too much on my hand, <laughs> but it's got a really nice, ooh, it's a very thick texture, a little bit on the like creamy side for sure and it's white, white, white. So I will absolutely test this. Sometimes with sunscreens, you have a white cast that can sometimes happen, can make you look a little ashy and things like that. So I'm gonna see how this one compares, but it's very, very white. This one has a lot on my hand, it's way too much. Definitely no scent, which is great. And the fact that it's bright yellow is really kind of cool. <laughs> you can kind of like remember, like yellow equals sun, so this must be the sunscreen, right? They do a great job with their packaging overall. I just feel like it looks classic, it's sleek, like I said, it's just a really beautiful line. So hopefully this sunscreen also delivers. Something from Beauty Blender that we teased a little while ago and I completely forgot to pick it up until now, it's the Bronzer and Highlight Duo. This is from their Bounce line, which I've had some mixed results with. I've had some pretty good results with some and others have been total failures. So I'm curious about this one. So this one is a dual product. It has the highlight and the bronzer on the base. This is what it looks like here. You can see that there's the top there and the bronzer on the bottom, I think. The shade I picked up is Champagne Highlight Topaz Bronzer. It's like the duo. Oh, I hate when I have to get my nail in there. Mm, okay, good. <laughs> This is the highlight. It has the beautiful Beauty Blender sponge in there. You can see it's so cute. It's like the little uh, embossment there. And we also have the bronzer. You have to just open it that way, you can see. And then we have this beautiful color. It looks quite warm. So let's do a swatch. And this is what they look like here. So 
I'm curious. I hope I didn't pick a shade that's too light. I don't think so. I think it should be okay, but I will absolutely test this in a future video coming very soon. That champagne you can see has a beautiful pinky tint, which I really love as well. So let's see how this one fares. I really hope that it's good <laughs> because this is one, some products have been great and others have been like, yikes. I feel like I've been picking up quite a few Sephora US products lately, so I do apologize to my Canadian gals, but I'm hoping that Tower 28 comes with these to Sephora Canada very, very soon because they're like gatekeeping it from us. I feel like <laughs> I'm not a fan. I want it to come to Canada so badly. So we have a new shade in two of my favorite products from them. I had to pick it up. Love, love this brand and these products. These are the Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm Blushes. They can be used for blush or like a lip if you want. I prefer just with blush. Highly, highly pigmented cream blushes I discovered a year or two ago and I'm obsessed with them. And they came out with this like mauve color called Office Hours. It is <laughs> so beautiful. And for the longest time, it wasn't on Sephora Canada. I was waiting for it to be stocked. I don't believe it is stocked yet. And then I saw it on Sephora US. I'm like, dang it, why are you guys doing this to us? So this is the mauve color. Stunning. It is so, so stinking beautiful. I love this. Just like the rest of them, incredibly pigmented. You do not need <laughs> a ton with these. I literally like dab the tiniest bit on my sponge when I apply or a brush and it just pigment like that. It's so beautiful. Gorgeous mauve for fall. Obsessed. I love this. I think it's so, so beautiful. And this is the same packaging as the rest of them. It's that see-through plastic, little bit of the Tower 28 logoing on there and you can see the shade all the way through. So this is the new one, Office Hours. Really, really stunning. Can't wait to try this one as well. And then of course we have the matching mauve shade in these Shine On lipsticks, or lipsticks, sorry, lip glosses. I love these as well. Now this is called Sesame. It's not called Office Hours, but it is mauve. And <laughs> this is another one. I'm like, why is it not for Sephora Canada yet? But look how plummy that is. That almost seems a little bit more plum. I'm gonna actually swatch it right next to the blush and see, I'll show you the difference, but another beautiful fall shade. This is Sesame right beside. So pretty, love that, wow. So that blush has a bit more of that pinkiness, right? Making it more of a mauve. The gloss being more of a plum, but I love the glosses too. I think I have almost all of the shades. I have oat, coconut, pistachio. When I saw these, I was kind of helpless. Knew I was gonna get it because I was just such a big fan of these two products already. A couple new things from Too Faced. Now these have been out for a couple of weeks, so for some reason I haven't been getting my post as quickly, so I'm hoping that picks up a little bit. But this is the Better Than Chocolate palette, which you guys have been wanting me to try out. So I will absolutely try it out, especially because it's a Too Faced release that has that beautiful tin packaging. It does have a fragrance to it. They tend to, you know, do that with their releases. But this is their best quality formulation-wise. I feel like they put out quite a few things that are sometimes subpar, especially when it comes to Christmas collections. Avoid <laughs> the, any of those cardboard ones. I feel like they're so dry. So this is very exciting. So the Better Than Chocolate palette. I'm sure it's going to smell like chocolate. Let's see. Oh yeah, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> Super beautiful, love the color story actually. It's got a really nice mix of some depth there with some of their shadows that they're very known to using, right? So I feel like Too Faced has a very safe zone when it comes to formulating palettes that I feel like Tarte does a very good job of as well, which is kind of that pinky, the brown, the golden shades. And Too Faced does that too, but they add a little bit more flair, I feel like. So you do have a lot of these palettes grounded with some matte browns, pinks, golds, and then you have these pops of purples in this one, which is beautiful. We have a beautiful golden yellow, a really nice blue. Love this one over here. So I'm excited to test this one. I do think that this is some of the best quality that they make. Like I said, if you don't want to have the fragrance thing, then I would stay away because these palettes almost always carry a smell, which is the theme of the palette. The last one I purchased was the Cinnamon Swirl and it had like a strong cinnamon smell. So keep in mind if that's not your forte, this won't be for you, but these formulations are often really nice and steady. So 
hoping this is the same because I'm excited. I'm gonna swatch a few of them. Yeah, okay, I'll show you. This one's a little bit weaker. The purple's a little bit weaker, but the others are really fantastic. So that's some beautiful shades right there. I had to build up that purple quite a bit, probably about three swipes. So we got some shades there. Super, super pretty. We do have a mixture of formulations in this one. For sure there's mattes. We do have a variety of shimmers. So I'm excited to test this one. One last product in today's haul that I'm excited to test. I do have a couple things waiting in the mail as well. I did actually order the new Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows and they're not here. Normally Charlotte is really on top of sending packages out and I actually did the next day delivery so I'm probably gonna have to talk to them and be like, yo, <laughs> what is going on? I don't wanna pay for next day delivery and then have it like a week and a half later. I also ordered both mystery boxes to unbox for you guys. Now hint here, I am very, very lucky to be getting Charlotte Tilbury PR on a semi-regular basis so I own a lot of her products. The mystery boxes are solely to unbox for you so you can see what they are and hopefully you'll be able to order them when I get them so that you can still you know order the one that you want but I'm doing that so that I can actually give both of those boxes away once I'm done the unboxing so I'm not gonna like swatch them or anything but I do want to unbox to show you what they are and then I'm gonna send them off to two winners one for each one so decided to do that instead of keeping more Charlotte Tilbury products that I know I already have I want to give back a little bit but I also know you guys really wanted to know what was in the mystery boxes so I'm gonna be doing those videos as well but hopefully they come at some point because it's been a while the last product is also from the Too Faced line with the Better Than Chocolate launch came the Coco Bold Lipsticks. And this is the M Power Cream Lipstick in the shade Hot Chocolate. Now, I'm curious about this one. It's actually really beautiful packaging. It's this metallic kind of like ready chocolate color. You can see that. It's got a nice shine to it. It says Coco Bold. This is a magnetic cap, which is awesome. And then you roll this up and it actually says Too Faced embossed in the lipstick. Like it's handwritten in the lipstick, which is so cool. It does have a, okay, this smells like synthetic chocolate <laughs> for sure. It's obviously not real, but it smells like cherry chocolate. That's what it sort of smells like. Now let's see what this one swatches. It's very beautiful though. I love all the embossing work with this one. I think it's gorgeous. This is the swatch, beautiful. I thought it was gonna be much more brown given a hot chocolate shade, but it has quite a bit of pink to it. Very, very wearable. Really excited to pair this with the palette as well once I test that too. Oh, I did find one more thing, Never mind. <laughs> There's one more thing. This is from Gucci. So the Gucci eyeshadow palette is another thing I'm waiting on. It's been forever. This is the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant line in the limited edition they met in Argentina. So. If you guys remember, I did get the Liquid Lip in They Met in Argentina, and for me, the Liquid Lip is a so-so product. It's one that I cannot wear by itself, but if I wear it and then put a gloss over it, it's much more tolerable. So when I saw that this shade is also in this formulation with this beautiful limited edition packaging, look how gorgeous that floral design is. So pretty. I knew I had to test it out. I'm gonna actually swatch it right beside the Too Faced. I didn't get a chance to wipe off that swatch. But this is a much more of a lighter opacity, kind of like buildable to medium and really gorgeous, like such stunning packaging. This is a beautiful, almost coral. You can see that. So I love how we have a difference here in these shades, but super beautiful makeup to test coming up. Let me know your thoughts on all these brand new products. I'm super excited to test them. And until my next one, guys, take care and stay safe. Bye, guys.